Some say that the world is coming to an end. Maybe they are right. For more than a year, everything has been plunged into chaos. The sacred holy empire of Abel, once a symbol of power and stability, has fallen. Broken and fragmented, the nations that were once part of it sought after the empty throne, and now the shadow of an insane war threatens to engulf everything. Oblivious to the conflict, the Order of Nathaniel, founded centuries ago to keep humanity safe from what lurks in the night, continued its restless fight against the dark. Over the ages, the Order waged countless secret wars, always hiding from mankind that the monsters who walked among us, our darkest fairy tales, were still there. And then, two days ago, something unexpected happened. While the Order was negotiating a way to stop the upcoming conflict with the Warring States, the Red Lady, a high-ranking member of Nathaniel, stole one of the artifacts that the organization had sealed in the dark long ago. The Byblos, a book written with the blood of the founder of the Order. Nobody knew why she took it, nor the importance of the artifact, but I, Romeo Exet, leader of Nathaniel, did. Understanding what was at stake, I was forced to send the best agents of the organization to recover it at any cost. As fate would have it, amongst all of those agents, it would be the girl with no name, a cursed child bringing calamity with her, who would find it. This place is devastated. I didn't think that the war had already come this far. Ignore that nonsense, baby. What mankind does doesn't concern us. Our prey is near, I can tell. At last we will have some fun. What is it, uneasy? That's not like you. You have nothing to fear. You are the bearer of calamities. You have at your disposal the most powerful weapon in the whole of creation sealed in a damned book. You've got me. Shut up. Welcome, Bearer of Calamities. I knew they would send you. Unfortunately, you've come too soon. I have not finished yet. Lady, in recognition of your years of work for the Order, I will give you a chance to surrender and return the Byblos. As pragmatic as ever. Well, I didn't expect a greeting from you. What have you done with this play? Make no mistake, Bear of Calamities, I had nothing to do with the destruction of this city. Its inhabitants left before the armies of the Empire arrived. To prevent them from taking it, the people set it on... It's human nature. War. Murder. Death. 
It is something you should all- I didn't come here to listen to your pointless speech. Give me the artifact. Unfortunately, I'm not finished with it yet. But don't worry. I've prepared something to- Goodbye forever! Wait! Damn. I was surprised that you didn't pounce on that woman. Did you know her? She is... one of the people who took care of my indoctrination. After I signed my pact with you. <laughs> Something like your teacher, eh? Shut up.
Did you know I don't like water that much? Maybe being sealed in a book for so long has affected me after all. Anyone ever told you you're too pushy, my dear? Wow, an existential barrier. And one of substantial power, if I may say. Suggestions? I sense two... no, three seals that support the barrier nearby. We must go back and find them if we want to move on. Don't worry. I'll make them visible for you, baby. down, two to go. Just one more. The barrier has fallen, baby.
one's more fun than the others. Come on, let me out. Shut up. Party pooper. What is this place? I've never read anything about such ruins here. I don't know, but whatever it is, I feel something ancient.
lady. I'll admit, I expected to have a little more time, Bear of Calamities. The Byblos is not ready yet. What do you want? Want? I don't want anything, my dear. I'm just an instrument of salvation. But I don't expect someone like you to understand that. But you, my dear, were a fool for coming here. This whole place was built for only one purpose. To seal the very core of your power. You look frightened, dear. Are you afraid of monsters again? Monsters? Those are no monsters. Let me show you what a real monster is. Ergo. Monsters. <laughs> I love it! Impressive. And to think that you only have a fragment of your true power. I guess this leaves me no choice but to interfere. Ha! 
shouldn't have underestimated the power of the Calamity. But it matters not. The ritual is complete. What is this all about, lady? I don't understand you. Oh, but you will, my dear. Everything is about to begin. Ugh! You should not be! Who are you? Baby, this guy's no joke. His power is too much for you. I know. Once more, the same dream, always the same, the little girl runs. She runs to escape the horror that haunts her. But what she sees at the end of the darkness, it's just an even greater nightmare. Wake up, Sleeping Beauty. It's time to get out of bed. Ergo? What happened? Where are we? Not a clue. After that light, everything became chaotic. I only know that when I regained consciousness, I was in this place. I've never seen anything like it. How long have I been asleep? A few hours. Before you open your big mouth to complain, I tried to wake you up earlier. But stay calm. I assure you, nothing has come close or done anything to you while you slept. Thanks. Well, except me. <laughs> Ugh. So, what's the plan? Are we still looking for your artifact? Or shall we try to find a way out of here? First of all, I think that the most important thing would be to find out where we are and how we got here. Let's collect all the information we can, and later we'll have time to make an appropriate decision. Listen to me, Bane. There's another thing that I need you to know. This place is oppressing me, as if it's trying to choke my very essence. My powers, and therefore yours, are greatly limited. And that means? That you're screwed. You'd better be careful. You... You're worried about me? I don't need that from you. At the time I didn't want to admit it. But I was calm just because he was there with me. <laughs> <laughs> 